Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about starting a new wizard character in NetHack. The Concise NetHack video will show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll start a new wizard character and try to advance him through the Gnomish Mines and Soka Bond, and I'll keep a running dialogue explaining what I do and why, so this video will be long. Note that I'm running a pre-release of version 3.7, and at this time, when I made this recording, 3.6.6 was the uh, current release version. All right, let's start. Shall I pick a neutral male human's role for you? I've set in my options that I always start as neutral male human, and I don't have a pet. <coughs> so I say no. <laughs> okay, I'm a wizard. Uh, and I will be human, male, neutral, yes. All right. I am so lucky. Um, I often die as a wizard because I don't have a an altar in the top few levels. On this uh, very first room I'm in, I start with an altar. There's also a fountain and some money there. But let's start by looking at my inventory. Um, my weapon, I start with plus plus one quarter staff. Decent weapon. I don't uh, train it up. Uh, my armor is always a magic, cloak of magic resistance, which I might uh, uh, wear through much of this first half of the game. Um, but I always adjust my robe to the shift R slot. So I'm going to do Alt A, adjust what? B to R. Now when I do I, you can see it's an R. Scrolls, I got some decent scrolls. Remove curse, identify. You always start with the Bless Spellbook and Force Bolt. That's your main offensive spell until I get Magic Missile, which will be my main offensive spell for the rest of the game. Spellbook of Clairvoyance, I don't use that much. I've got Holy Water, Healing, and Levitation as my potions. These are nice because all these things in my starting inventory will be identified for me through the rest of the game. Um, the second reason that I am super lucky this game is I have a Ring of Slow Digestion. Uh, wizards, you know, don't start with any food. And... Um, so starvation is a real possibility. With a wizard with so little armor, you don't want to go too deep too quickly. But if you don't have food, you may have to go deep quickly because the monsters at the top few dungeon levels are wimpy and small and they don't provide much nutrition. I got a ring of, ring of street action and I've also got a blindfold, which is really helpful because I can see monsters with my blindfold once I have to left the the wand of slow monster will be nice. I'll use that some occasionally. All right, <clears throat> let's start playing. Pick up the gold. I have auto pickup turned on in my options for gold, so I always pick up that. And about, that's about the only thing I I have auto pickup on for. When I hit a dead end, I do two two s twenty two search to see if it's a, really a dead end or not. Got a lichen. Um, lichens are great. Um, because their corpses never rot. You can carry them forever, while most other corpses, except for lizards, will rot over time, and you don't want to eat them. I'm in exploration mode now. I'm kicking doors. <clears throat> Why do I kick doors? Two reasons. The main reason is I run away a lot. These closed doors I kick um, because if a monster's chasing me and he's too powerful for me, I run to the upstairs, 22 search, and... If there's a door, an open door in a doorway, then going around it may take an extra turn, in which turn, in which case the monster may kill me. The other reason I kick down closed doors is it exercises my strength. A mace, I'm not going to pick up and wield the mace. I'm okay with my uh, quarterstaff now, and the mace may be cursed. I want to show you what I do in the very early game with grid bugs. They cannot attack... Um, diagonally, so I can attack them when I'm in a diagonal position. This isn't an optimal one here, but I'm going to go diagonal, attack, step away, diagonal, attack. Now he's positioned me so that he can hit me on my next turn. That's okay. He zaps me. And now diagonal, attack, down to a diagonal, attack. And you're noticing I'm not doing a whole lot of damage on him, but I'm attacking at on the diagonals. And so when I have a really weak monster, that's what I do. I may have explored this whole level, there's a chance that there could be a doorway here because there could be a room down here. Maybe there's a doorway along here. If I did not have a ring of slow digestion, I have no food, I would probably just go on downstairs at this point. I do have a ring of slow digestion. 
And I probably will put that on now. Let's see. Slow digestion is lowercase d. I always adjust d. My d, capital D, is uh, digestion. So I'm going to put on my d on my right finger. 22 search, 3 move, 22 search, 1, 2, 3, 22 search. You see as I search, I search in a spot, move three spaces along the wall and search in a spot again. Um, 22 search, 22 search. <clears throat> I apologize, I'm recovering from COVID right now, so my voice is gravelly and I clear it a lot. 22 search, 22 search. Um, I did not finish the 22 search here because a... Uh, some jackals appeared in the room. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat the jackal because I have no other food. Yes. And I pick up the gem. The gem is unidentified. Okay, 22 search, picking up where I left off, 22 search. I'm done with this level. Um, that altar is awesome. I'm going to say drop, shift D. What I want to drop, um, shift X, items of unknown blessed curse status, shift X. I'm not actually going to drop them, but the things that I have now that I have not identified the blessed uncursed curse status for are a scroll of identify and a gem. I could go drop those on the altar now to do, well, let's just do that. Drop them on the altar. Drop, X, everything, and now the items on the altar are identified as uncursed. That may help me later on. Let's go downstairs to dungeon level two. You'll notice I'm on dungeon level one here. My experience level is one. I've turned on the show EXP option, so it shows how many experience points I've gained. By killing the monsters on this level, I've gained eight experience points. Um, so we're going downstairs. I use the uh, far move command with type underscore. It asks you, where do you want to travel to? You position the cursor and press dot, and it'll move you to there, unless you find something interesting along the way, which I did here, kill the lichen, he left me a scroll, it's got a funky name, because I have never had encountered this scroll before, kill the jackals, ooh, an amulet, this is a good item, it might be an amulet of reflection, or an amulet of life saving, or an amulet of guarding, um, there are other good amulets, more good amulets, oh, an amulet of levitation, there are, or they call it an amulet of flying. There are more good amulets in NetHack 3.7 than in 3.6.6. .6. Eat the jackal, it satiates me. You don't want to be satiated for very long. I'm going to remove my ring of slow digestion so that my hunger will increase normally. Pick up that amulet. Let's go see if it's cursed. I'm going to travel to the altar by plus, pressing underscore, underscore, dot, and now drop the items currently picked up. Uh, another great feature, 3.7, you can drop the items you just picked up, a triangular amulet. It, it, it didn't flash, so it is an uncursed amulet. I don't know what it is yet. Let's try it on. I'm going to adjust my amulet, R to shift M, and put on M. And it did not identify. Whoops. It did not identify, so it could be reflection. Um, could be an amulet of life-saving. Let's go downstairs, and I just went off of being satiated. I'm going to go for a little while without wearing my ring of slow digestion to let my hunger build up. I'm on dungeon level two. Kill the lichen. <coughs> now, do I kick this door? The rule on doors is you kick. I kick them down in the early levels uh, with two exceptions. If it might be a shop door, I don't kick it down because the shopkeeper will be mad and will kill me. And the other reason not to kick a door down is kicking in, kicking anything, even in the air, uh, will wake up nearby monsters. Um, I kicked all the doors on level one because there are no shops in level one in this uh, version of NetHack. Um, I don't, there is a possibility this is a, a shop. Now, most shops are on the corners, but I have seen shops in the middle. So I'm going to open the door. It's locked. Shop doors are not locked in this version of NetHack, so I'm going to go ahead and kick it. I kick with Control-D, pick a direction, then I use Control-A to repeat the previous command. I kick the door down. Um, I can't believe my luck. Uh, wizards shouldn't wear much armor. If you wear body armor, it impedes your ability to cast spells. The best early game armor for a wizard, body armor, is a studded leather armor. And um, I wear a studded leather armor until I can get dragon scale mail. I'm going to pick that up, but I'm not going to wear it immediately because it might be cursed, and I may not want to wear it if it's cursed. But I will go 
pretty well immediately up the stairs, kick the door, control A, control A, control A, and I'm going to drop it on the altar and see if it's cursed. Um, I found a newt. Newts are great. You see my spell casting power. Uh, my maximum is 16, and I have all 16 uh, points right now because I haven't cast any spells. Uh, the benefit of newts is if you eat a newt course, a newt corpse, there's a chance of increasing your maximum hit points if your power is already at the maximum. If it's lower than the maximum, then it it'll increase your power, but maybe not your maximum. So let's kill this. He didn't lend me a corpse. Bad luck. Okay, I'm going to drop shifty um, the armor and the studded leather armor. It's not cursed. Okay, I'm going to adjust my armor. Alt T. Uh, just T to A. My body armor is always an A. Take off my robe, wear my armor, wear my robe. And you can see the armor I have now, studded leather armor and cloak of magic resistance. And my armor class is now six, which is pretty good. <coughs> Speaking of armor, kill the zombie. Speaking of armor, I'm going to wear um, high boots if I can find them, uh, iron shoes if I can't, and probably a dwarvish iron helm. Um, iron armor impedes spell casting, but I can uh, wear a little bit of it without impeding my spell casting too much. Speaking of spell casting, I'm going to hit the shift plus command. You see the spells I know. These were the two spells in my starting inventory. Force bolt. You'll notice I haven't cast force bolt yet. Typically, I don't cast it unless I need to. If I can kill a monster by hand, I do that because casting spells until um, but at least I go on my quest. Casting spells makes me hungry, and hungry hunger, as I mentioned, is a real problem for wizards. But since I've been able to kill them with uh, with my wielded weapon, I've been doing that. You'll notice I have not pushed the boulders very far. Uh, I When I run into a boulder that I can't get around, well, I try and get around it, because if you push it very far, you might push it, for example, into a shop door or something else and where it's a problem and I don't have a pickaxe now and I can't break it. I'm not going to kick this door. It could be a shop door. So I'll open it. It resists. It opens. All right. Now let's go ahead and cast a spell. I have two monsters lined up here. I'm going to hit um, hang on. Sorry about that. Had to cough, recovering from COVID. And the other thing is, when I talk, I cannot always remember the, the commands to type. To cast a spell, Z is for Zappa Wand. Shift Z is to cast a spell. So let's shift Z. What I want to spell, I want to cast A. I always put the um, main attack spell in A, in my A slot. It starts there automatically. But when I find Magic Missile, I'll put that there. We're going to zap A down. I killed both jackals, and I'm going to eat one, um, not satiated. I'll keep a hold of the lichen corpse because it'll last forever. Um, this is yellow mold. He might make me confused if I hit him or stunned. So I'm going to zap A that way. I hit him and killed him. It uh, Since I didn't hit him with a melee weapon, he couldn't use his attack on me. There's a fountain. I'll come back to that in some video. You want to use fountains, and there's a a uh, concise knit hack video about that. Oops, I kicked after I'd kicked the door open. I strained a muscle. It uh, lowered my dexterity by one. That will recover fairly quickly. And let me talk about my stats here. Constitution, great. The maximum is 18. Strength is eight. Pretty wimpy. That's bad. Good thing I'm a spellcaster. Intelligence is at the max. Wisdom, I'll be able to increase that. These... Uh, these are good for wizards to have. My charisma, I'm one ugly monster, this wizard. Uh, my charisma's low, which means uh, when I go to shops, they'll charge me a lot of mon money. Now, it could be a shop. I haven't seen the message about um, somebody complaining about uh, shoplifters. It's probably not a shop. I'm going to open it. It's locked. Hidden and locked doors are not shop doors, so I'll kick it. Control D up, Control A. Maybe I'm being too careful with, um, um, to, I mean, kicking all the doors. Not really necessary. Uh, my power is at max, so let's hit the newt. 
I miss it. There, I got him, and he left me a corpse. Let's eat it. Eat it? Yes. Um, blinded me. I'll be blind for like five or six turns, but I didn't get the boost from uh, eating him. If I were to go this way, I'd push boulders and I wouldn't be able to get past, so I'm going to go around the other way. Let's, oh, now that I'm blind, there's a monster there. I don't know what it is. It shows up as an eye, which I think stands for visible, but um, I'm experience level two now with 39 experience points, and on dungeon level two, it's not going to be a bad monster. Let's just attack it. Oh, it's a grid bug. It's zapping me. I can't get around to attack it on angles. I mean, I could attack it once here, but let's just take it out. Killed it, and I got to experience level three at experience points 40. And I can see again, I think I'm done exploring this level. Let's go down. Uh, the stairs into the Gnomish Mines are going to be somewhere on dungeon level 2, 3, or 4. I don't see them here on this. I suppose it's possible that there's another room here or over here, but unlikely. Let's go down. <coughs> okay, we got a green mold. I use the semicolon command. Hit semicolon, move your cursor, and it tells you what it is. It's a green mold. If I hit that... He'll, he'll attack me with acid, so zap A that way, took him out. Here is a statue of a grid bug. I'll take out this grid bug with the diagonal hits, and um, if I had a pickaxe, I could break it. I break all statues above, well, all statues in the game with a pickaxe, because there's a chance that a statue can have a spell book in it. Um, I'm going to zap my force bolt at it to shatter it. Zap A that way. No stat. No uh, spell book. Just rocks. Okay. Could be a shop. Open it. It's locked. It's not a shop. Kick it. Uh, pretty soon I will be to the point where I have leprechauns. Kicking a door will wake up leprechauns and then nymphs. You don't want to wake up nymphs. I have a brass wand. Um, I will try and figure out what that is in just a minute. But I also have a turquoise spell book. Um, and get the, get the okay. I love spell books. I want to so my goals right now are to explore, find the stairs into the gnomish mines. Um, but I want to uh, check out that spell book. I'm a wizard. I could attempt reading it right now, um, and it would tell me if it was too complex for me. Uh, if it's too, you know, if I'm not smart enough yet, if my is it wisdom isn't high enough yet. Or it's intelligence. I never know the difference. Um, I got a video that explains, and then after I made the video, I forgot. But um, I won't read this yet because it could be cursed, and I don't want to risk reading a cursed spell book. It could freeze me, and monsters could kill me, like this bat. Let's zap. Now, bats can be pretty bad because they are so fast. Zap A that way, killed him in one shot. Not too bad. All right, I'm still looking for the, stores, the steps to the Gnomish Mines. These could be them. I'm going down. They are. I'm in the Gnomish Mines. And in NetHack 3.7, those stairs will now show as special stairs. They're yellow. Control D. Uh, open in case it's um, a shop. I have a tin. Pick it up. I'm going to bless Uncurse Curse. Identify it. Okay, it's been a while since I've eaten. I'm gonna, I don't want to get hungry because if I look at my food... I've got a tin and a couple of liches. Um, I'm going to go ahead. No, I won't eat that tin. I'm going to put on my ring of slow digestion. Red mold. I'm going to zap him. Killed him. He didn't leave me a corpse. If he had it, eating it might have given me fire resistance, which is good, but he didn't. Lichen. He left me a tripe ration. Tripe rations, I collect if I don't have a ring of slow digestion. What you do is I collect three or four of them. Then at some point when I'm hungry, I go to the upstairs and eat them on the upstairs. They will leave me vomiting and stunned. Open. Um, but if a monster comes when I'm stunned, I just go upstairs and wait a few turns, and then I'm not stunned and I go back downstairs. But the benefit of eating a tripe ration is it gives you an experience point. And so where I'm low on experience points, I consider that 22 search, found a door. <coughs> okay, another door. Jackal. Zap A. Kill two of them in one, one shot. And now I found a large box. I need a stash. I always keep a stash in a large box. 
um, I would love to open this large box. It may be locked, and I don't have a key, a lock pick, or a credit card to unlock it. Let's try looting it. Alt-L, it's locked. I don't have a bladed weapon to force this lock, so there's not a lot I can do now. Um, I'm going to run upstairs, and if you don't mind, I'll pause the video. No, I won't. At the beginning of the game. I'm, you have to watch. Sorry. Let's run upstairs. Zap A that way. Uh, eat one of them. I won't eat the others. Let's, okay, upstairs, monsters to kill, found a scroll, pick it up. So I'm carrying a few scrolls in my inventory, several actually. Um, if I step on a fire trap, um, I could lose some or all those scrolls. Don't want to do that, which is why I need a stash. Okay, I'm going to drop some things, capital D, capital X. I drop, drop my tin. If it's a tin of spinach, it would be awesome because it would boost my strength. You see my strength has boosted from 8 to 9 already because I've been exercising strength by doing things like attacking monsters, well, kicking doors at least, exercise of strength. Um, the tin is not cursed. Let's eat it because it might be spinach. If it were spinach it would, and it were cursed, it would say you have a, it contains a decaying green substance. Don't eat it. But that's a waste of a um, tin of spinach. What do you want to eat? That would be my X. It smells like kobolds. Kobolds are poisonous, except if they're in a tin, they're fine. So I'll go ahead and eat it. Eat it, yes. Okay, what else can I drop? I'm going to drop my cyan potion. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, I still haven't identified my brass wand. But let's drop that uh, turquoise spell book. Now I'm going to read it. Read W. It's difficult to comprehend. Continue, no. All right, I'm going to leave the stash here. Let's start my stash. Drop all. What do I want but not want to carry? Uh, all these scrolls. The only scroll I carry in the early game, well, in my open inventory, is scroll of teleportation. One of those might be. I'll identify them eventually, but not yet. Uh, I will drop all my potions except for my... Um, Cyan potion. So to drop all your spell books, for example, type the plus, which is the symbol for spell books, and it selects all of them. What else do I not want to carry? Um, don't need that gem. It could be a valuable gem. It's probably glass, but I'll leave that here as well by the altar. So I have started my stash. I should keep a stash in a box or maybe under a boulder because some other monster might wander into this room and pick up and use my items. But it's fairly safe at this point because, for one, it's at the you know complete one side of the dungeon, and I'm I will be traveling or on one side of the level. I will be traveling clear to the underside, other side. It's not ideal, but it's the best I can do for now until I can get the stuff in a box. Grid bug down down. And now I'm on dungeon level three. I have the stairs to Sokoban. I usually don't do Sokoban until I'm experienced level five or six. But I may want to do it earlier because it's a good place to get daggers and daggers are um, can be used to force that box open. 22 search. All right, let's go down the normal stairs and explore dungeon level four. I tried to explore one level, one side of the dungeon and then the other side, rather than you know a few few rooms on this side, few rooms anyway. It's faster, uh, so I'm staying on this side of the dungeon. I got two unidentified wands now. Here's a chest. Can I loot it? It's also locked. Remember that. I'll be back. Twenty-two search. Kill the grid bug. Twenty-two search because he interrupted my previous search. Now uh, twenty-two search seems to find a hidden space about maybe 80% of the time. So I may have to do it twice. Um, what's this? It's a war hammer. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it because I, I uh, my weapon is a quarter staff. When I find an altar and can pray at an altar, I will eventually get magic bane, which is an aff aim, which is like a dagger and exercises the dagger. Or exercising with the dagger makes me more experienced with aff aim as well. Um, so I will, I want to switch and start, and uh, start exercising dagger. I've killed enough monsters with my um, quarter staff. You don't want to kill all the low level monsters with your quarter staff. You want to, you know, 
before I level up too far or go too deep, I want to be wearing a dagger. Search, control D. Um, I like cave spiders because their corpses may give me poison resistance. Okay, I got a general store. Good, I could price identify stuff. I'm going to drop my two wands, drop wands, um, my two unidentified wands, V and Z. Um, he wants to give me 75. That's pretty good for an ugly with my charisma at 8, but I'm not going to actually sell it. No. And this one's 75. So they're, they're mid-level wands. They're not high level. I was hoping for him offering me lots of money, which would mean it was a wand of wishing or a wand of death. Spiked wand, 350 darts. I need some darts, but I'll get some. I don't want to buy them. Pine wand, not a wand of wishing. If it's like five or six hundred dollars, it's a wand of wishing or a wand of death. Um, I am wearing my ring of slow digestion, so I'm not worried about food. Okay, I'm not going to buy anything there. Um, there, the rooms, uh, the last room on the right will usually be even with or past my status text at the bottom. So there's probably another room with a. Um, uh, passageway off one of these two or maybe this room. Let's search for that other room. Go to the downstairs. An arrow. There was an arrow trap. Okay, I got an arrow. Before I search, I'm going to pick up my arrow. Once I find an arrow, a dart, or a crossbow bolt, I shift, I adjust that. Alt A. What do I want to adjust my arrow? Shift C to D. I adjust it to the D slot. I'm going to identify some of my potions now. I have, oh, I've only got one potion. It's not cursed, so that's good. I'm going to Alt-D dip. What do I want to dip? D, which is my arrow. Dip it into what? My potion, which is you. Interesting. If the potion is interesting, when you dip a arrow, crossbow bolt, or dart into it, then I quaff it. Um, if it were a potion of poison, no, a potion of sickness, then I'd get a message about a coating. If it were a potion of acid, it would corrode it. If it turned into something else, like a, you know, a spear or something, then uh, it was a potion of polymorph. Those are three kind of dangerous potions. If I were to quaff a potion of polymorph now, I might turn into a dragon or something and rip out of my cloak of magic resistance, and that would be bad. So it's interesting. It didn't give me a different message. I'm going to quaff. Quaff. That was Shift Q. Whoops. No Q. What I want to drink? My Uncursed Scion potion that was interesting when I dipped into it. It was Paralysis. That's a bad potion, but now I know what it is, and I was lucky nobody killed me. I need to search. There's a door. Kick it, because it's not going into a shop. I need to search. All right. Let's go to there. Explore this. Kick the door. I need to search. I'm not carrying very much, so I was able to go through that skinny passage. Excuse me, skinnish passageway there. I need to search. D. Um, I might not take all this time. Oh, that door was uh, booby trapped. Whether I open it or kick it, it stuns me. See, I'm stunned. I might not take all this time with no food if I didn't have a ring of slow digestion. 22 search. 22 search. Search, search, and there's a door. Kick it. Twenty-two search, and it was hidden. It's not a shop because it was hidden, and there's only one shop per level in this version. All right, I got a lot of monsters. Zap a that way. Wait with a dot. Zap a that way. If one of these were a newt, I wouldn't be so anxious to zap because I don't want to decrease my um, current power, but now, zap. I try to kill them all with my melee weapon. Okay, left me a mummy wrap. Those are great if I'm accidentally invisible and don't want to be. All right. Um, I'm only experienced level four, but I really need a dagger. Let's go to the Gnomish Mines. Go upstairs, go downstairs. A dog, zap A. I'm zapping because the dog is a little bit, I mean, strong. He took me down by 10 hit points. Uh, but I killed him. Now, the downside is I've zapped so much, I have no uh, power, very little power, and I like to have power when I go into the Gnomish Mines. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, sure, eat the iguana. Let's go downstairs. When I go to Gnomish Mines, I do 22 dot. Let's just wait here on the stairs because there might be gnome kings or even a mine flayer down here. And I don't want to uh, be too far from the upstairs until I know what I'm facing. Uh, kill the gnome. Kill the gnome. 20 or 55 dot. Um, I don't want to zap these guys with my force bolt because if I kill them and they're carrying potions, I'll shatter the potions. And I don't have a whole lot of power for zapping anyway. So let's just kind of wait. Let them come to me. It's tempting to zap because i got three in a line there. But my hit points are okay. And I can easily run upstairs. So let's see if I can take out this dwarf by humping on him. He hits hard. I'm down to 16 hit points. And I have the... There's a an option. Sh uh, show. It shows something. Or health bar or something like that. That I turn on. And it shows a progress bar here. I'm about 50% of my hit points. And so the bar is about 50% of the way through the brackets. And it turns yellow when you get hurt. And then red when you're in danger of dying. Um, so if he hits me again, I'm going to run upstairs. But I'll see if I can kill him first. I missed him. All right, two hit points. I almost died right there. He's, he's strong. We're going up. And I knew, so I ran upstairs to get away from the danger on that level, but I go to the upstairs on this level because there might be more danger here. Maybe there's another dwarf here, and I want to be sitting on the upstairs, so if he appears, I can run up. 55 dot, let's heal up. 55 dot. Uh, there was a message that said, you hear bubbling water. And I want to talk about control P. If you see a message, and I go fast, I usually ignore my, you know, I don't see my message. But if I see something fly by, I hit Control-P, and then I, it, it takes me back through the other messages. Here's where the dwarf was hitting me, and then Escape makes it go away. And I saw a message about bubbling water. That's because there's a fountain on this level. Fountains are great. I might get a wish, but I'm going to wait. Um, my power is not yet at maximum. Hit points are 12. This, what is it, a newt? It's a gecko. Didn't hurt me. 55 dot, 55 dot. And I wouldn't have killed that. Gecko wouldn't have left my stairs to try and kill him if I thought a monster might come in through this passageway. But I already searched here, and that these passageways don't seem to be connected, or at least if they're hidden, they're not connected for me or any monsters. 55 dot. All right, my health is back. Let's go to one more time here. And now my health and power are up. I don't want that dwarf beating on me, especially since a gnome was right there as well. Uh, I'll zap and see if I can kill him. Let's go down, but I'll stay on the upstairs. Zap a... Oh, boy. That way. Okay, we're going to wait. I've got no armor. Well, i got my studded, studded armor. My armor class is lousy. That guy can hit me so hard. I'm faster than he is, so I get extra hits in. But um, he's strong. He's got a good weapon. Okay. Ooh, floating eye. If I were to walk over and just hit him with my melee weapon, uh, he would likely freeze me, and then a little nuke would come along and nibble me to death, or you know some other monster would kill me. Don't hit floating eyes. That's an, uh, a common early death. I'm going to zap him. Even though he might have a potion, I zapped him. All right, let's go downstairs while I'm waiting. Okay, I'm going to... Well, let's just go down. And hopefully I can kill the dwarf before he gets a hit in. Down. He hit me. But not too bad. Zap a that way. Killed him. Now, let's see. Okay, I got enough experience points with that kill. I probably went up to experience level 5 at 160 experience points. So, level 5 is where I usually start the Gnomish Mines. All right, I missed it. The Hobbit, that's this guy, well, wielded a dagger. It was cursed, so it welded itself to its hand. Um, you don't want to just pick up weapons and use them because they might be cursed. So I identify whether they're cursed by watching another monster pick it up and wield it, or by dropping it on an altar, um, or by throwing it multiple times if it's a dagger, because cursed daggers, if you throw them, they um, may head off in the wrong direction. All right, 16. I'm running upstairs. So many monsters there. I'm being a little bit dangerous there by attacking these guys as is. But if I can kill off that first rush of monsters without dying, then I'll be in good shape for um, uh, exploring that level and getting some stuff I need. 
Now, with the... All right, I'll try and kill these grid bugs. I should have probably zapped while they were lined up, but kill them diagonally. <coughs> 55 dot. Eat him. Okay, I feel strong. I've been exercising diligently. I started out with strength of 8, and now I've exercised it. It was 9, now it's 10. This is because I've been kicking doors and doing other things that exercise strength. Eat, yes. Wait. Now, I didn't step into that jackal when he was one square away from me, because then he would have gotten a free hit. I hit dot on the square I was at so that he would move toward me instead of me moving toward him. Constitution, um, I was, I think my max was 30... One hit points when I gained a level. Oh, that was gaining strength. No, if I yeah, when I gained the experience level to five, I went from 31 to 36, so I gained five max hit points because I had decent constitution. I may have gained fewer hit points max than that if I had a lower constitution. All right, 33 dot. Go to the stairs again. Let's try this again. I'm at a place now where I've only got two monsters hitting me. But this guy here, probably a gnome lord or a gnome lady, I'm going to zap in the diagonal direction. Zap A that way. I killed the gnome, and I killed the gnome lord. The hobbit, he's wielding a cursed dagger. Killed him with uh, my quarterstaff, and the gnome I killed. All right. Now, this guy has... This gnome has crossbow bolts. He's going to stay away from me and shoot me from a distance, so i got to trap him. All right, glad I didn't zap him because he had a potion. Let's start picking up this stuff, but staying close to the stairs. I'll get the potion and the gem. The gnome lord I could eat. When you kill a monster, if you can eat it in the first few turns, it's good. You don't want to wait too many turns. And I just killed the gnome lord, but I don't want to be eating now. But I got some daggers, so I'm going to pick up the daggers. He's shooting arrows at me. I have to zap that red mold up here. So let's, since the gnome's in line with it, zap A, kill them both. All right, what have I got? I got a cursed dagger. That's what the hobbit wielded. That broad pick, I'm going to get it. I really want a pickaxe, not a broad pick. But if that broad pick is not cursed, then I can dig through walls. There's my hard hat and my shoes, which I will wear. Um, getting some good stuff here. Crossbow bolts, the green gem, I'm going to pick up B. Okay, I don't want to take on a dwarf with 17 hit points. Let's take the goods I got and head up to my altar. Hopefully nobody's disturbed my cash. Drop X. X means uncursed. Let's start with my daggers and my broad pick. Excellent. Um, I'm going to wield those daggers. Pick up everything. Adjust G to A. So because my attack weapon is always an A. Wield A. Now, I'm not going to hit as well with my daggers for two reasons. One, um, the quarterstaff was a blessed plus one. My daggers, they're probably plus zero, but daggers hit more often than regular weapons anyway. My daggers won't do as much damage. The big reason here is if I hit Shift, you know, Alt E, it shows me what I've been training on. I started out with basic skill at quarterstaff. My dagger, I'm unskilled. If I'm unskilled with a weapon, it means that I'm not going to hit very often. So I have to hit, I think, 20 times before I will be trained enough with dagger that I can bump that up to basic. But I'm going to go eventually to expert in dagger. So I will be cautious, but I'm going to try hitting with that weapon. Now, um, I tried to pick up the altar. The other weapon I picked up was this broad curse. I'm going to adjust just H to P. I put my pickaxe in slot P. Okay, drop, shift, X. Uh, let's just check the, out the brown potion. It's not cursed. I'll dip D into E. It was interesting, so Q, E. That was blindness. Not awesome, especially since I want to uh, see if things flash when I drop them on the altars. 555 five, five, dot. All right. Oh, I am not blind. Step off diagonally. Zap A to that, what do you call it, a gas spore. You don't want to stand right next to it and hit it because the explosion will damage you. All right, drop X. <coughs> I thought I grabbed the shoes, but it looks like I got a 
hooded cloak instead. Oops, I'm dropping my hard hat. It's not cursed. I'm going to check with a shift plus. I cast clairvoyance 85% with success rate. That means, oh, no, 85% failure rate. If I wear that hard hat, that likely is going to drop. My force bolt failure percentage of 0% probably won't drop. So first, um, I'm going to wear, what do you want to wear? I, just I to shift H, since hats always go in H. Now wear H. It's decreased my AC from 6 to 4, because the lower number, the better. And now if I hit shift plus, my clairvoyance failure rate has gone to 92%. Wearing iron armor makes you cast spells less, less successfully. But I don't care about clairvoyance right now. Eh, I mean, I could train it up and cast it, but I'm not going to. But um, right now I'm trading armor class for spell ability, and I want the armor class boost. Drop X. Um, got, do I have two rings of free action? Yes, I do. So I just found one in the dungeon. Drop X. I need to identify my wands. Okay, what can I leave here in my stash? Kill the grid bud, drop all. I can leave my uh, my hot hood cloak. That's junk. I'm going to leave it where there's a junk pile. And um, drop all. I didn't mean to drop all. Pick up all. <laughs> drop all. Okay. Uh, what can I leave now? I'm going to leave all my scrolls, all my spell books, all my potions. Yes. Okay. I Didn't I have some damn drop gems? No, I don't have drop P. Okay, good. Grid, grid bugs. And I want to go get those hard shoes that I should have picked up before. Giant rats. Oh, I dropped everything, so... <laughs> okay, okay. now I'm trying to train... I, I didn't have... I was barehanded. I didn't have a weapon wielded. So now I'm attacking these rats, and I'm missing them a lot because I'm not trained up in dagger. So I'm taking damage from rats. Don't like taking damage. Okay. Let's wield my quarterstaff again and clear out the riffraff here. And I will remove zap A. I should take him out. Oh, I shouldn't have zapped because I used up some power, and there's a newt. If that newt leaves me a corpse, I want to eat him at full power. I can't run upstairs because I'm dungeon level 1, but let's just move away. 55 dot. I feel more confident in my... So I just exercised my quarterstaff ability. And if I look at shift, no, alt E. Now quarterstaff, which is that basic, I've exercised enough, I could take it to skilled. Um, I want to do that with dagger. Let's wield my A again. 55 dot. K. Okay. I'm going to just play with the newt. Five dot. I may be able to, I think, I think at one minus your maximum, you can still boost your maximum. But he's not going to pick up my stash, so why not head down here and kill the newt. I'm being careful because I'm wielding a, a, uh, a an unskilled weapon. Now, I have to zap at that. Well, I could throw daggers at that eye, but I can't hit him with my melee weapon. I'm going to line up a couple of monsters here. And since the newt didn't leave me a corpse, I'll go ahead and zap a that way. Killed them both. Got a scroll. Okay, goblin. He's got a mace. I'm going to back off and throw some daggers. Throw what? I have five daggers. I can throw four of them. So I'm going to throw A that way. Throw A that way. Three, four. Don't want to throw the one I'm wielded. But how about I throw my uh, my G, my quarterstaff. Boom. Killed him. And all right. Um, I just picked up a scroll. Boy, can gas score gas spores when they explode? Do they hurt glass items? I don't know. I don't want to kill them though right next to my stash since it's not in a box. Throw a one, two, three, four. You exercise by wielding a weapon and hitting with it, by throwing the weapon and hitting with it, even by kicking a weapon and hitting with it. 
by dot, kill u, throw a that way, two, three, four, I'm not hitting him very often, but I'm hitting him, kill the, oh, confused, don't move when you're confused, because you might move into the floating eye and it'll freeze you, five dot, okay. If you get confused from eating a corpse, a five dot is enough usually to unconfuse you. Okay, throw a one, two, three, four. Throw, G, killed him. And throw a one, two, th throw a three, kick that way. Killed the floating eye. He did not leave me a corpse. I really need a floating eye corpse. Throw a one, two, three, whoops, killed him. And there's the corpse. I'm going to eat him. Eat it, yes. You feel a strange mental acuity. I now have telepathy. And since I was talking instead of thinking, I hit that floating eye and he froze me for a bunch of turns. But fortunately, I didn't die. I now have telepathy. If I can become blind, I'll see all monsters on this level that have brains. Okay. <laughs> I want to kill the floating eye now without zapping. Throw a plate. Throw what? A, I have still four of my daggers because I left one of them there. So we're going to throw three times. A1, control A2, control A3. Throw G that way. Throw. This is, yes, it is a little bit tedious. Okay, forget it. Zap A. Forget the newt. Zap A. Where rats are bad. Zap A. They turn from humans into rats, and um, they can summon lots of rats around me. He can bite me when he's a rat and make me feverish. Uh, you want to have some protection. I'm wearing both body armor and a robe, and so with my magic resistance, I don't know if I get magic protection one or two, but I'm somewhat protected. Okay, I zap to kill him. I spent enough time on this level. Zap A that way. I'm hurt. Zap A that way. Okay, he could kill me. Um, I'm in trouble here. He could hit me for um, a lot of damage. I've been playing for 4,500 turns without praying. When your hit points are down below some percentage, 12 or 15% of your maximum, you can pray. I don't know the exact number. and I don't, Praying, I can pray successfully, and I would be healed if I was below that minimum threshold. Is there a door here? I'm not sure. I probably kicked it down. So I could move away. I'm going to step a... No, I'm going to pray. Alt-P. Sure you want to pray? Yes. So he tries to attack me, but I'm praying. Okay, and I'm fully healed. I'm going to remember that I prayed at about 4,500. I'm going to try and wait at least 1,200 turns to 5,700, 5,800. That's a number I'm just going to try and remember. Zap A that way. I'm, I couldn't kill him because I was trying to hit him with my daggers. Oops, Alt E. Oh, I wasn't watching carefully. You want to check. I have hit enough to advance my dagger training. I wasn't hitting that bat because my dagger... I, I was unskilled at dagger. I should have done this earlier. But I'm not paying as much attention here because I'm thinking about talking. Zap A that way. Zap A that way. Okay. Let's go back to the Gnomish Mines, whoops, and Kobolds, don't eat Kobold corpses. I'll pick up that potion. I don't use them a lot, but somebody might pick it up and throw it at me and per paralyze me. Now I want to pick up these shoes and throw a, I'm trying to take, no, I'm, I'm not going to throw. If I were to throw my daggers at the dwarf and then have to run upstairs, I'd leave my daggers down here. So I'm just going to hit him with my spell. My power's low now, so I've got to watch out for that. But at least I killed him. Oh, and I have a gnome lord. I'm going to zap him as well. Zap A that way. Hit him. Zap A that way. Now, my power was down to three after that zap. It takes five power to zap Force Bolt, so that was my last zap. But fortunately, I gained experience level six by hitting probably 330 and experience points. It took me up. I'm going to go examine those 
drop piles. I got a marble wand and I got another dagger, a leather armor, which I would get, except I'm already wearing a studded leather armor and got a leash. I don't have a pet. I don't need a leash. Okay. It's time to figure out what wands I have. I, oh, I left them all upstairs. Well, I'll figure out what this wand is. I'm going to move over. I position myself with a direct line to a monster in a doorway and zap while the monster's still a distance away. Zap, Q, what direction? That way. I have a, a scroll or a wand of teleportation, which is very good. I teleported him. He just happened to teleport right next to me. That would be bad if you were a bad monster, but he was, but he's not. I picked a weak monster. So we'll go ahead and kill him. And I'll eat him. It's been a while. Oops, remove, take a nope. Remove my, uh, remove my, I'm not wearing any rings. My slow digestion. All right. I accidentally dropped my wands upstairs. Rock piercer, kill it. Oh, I should have checked. Killed the rock piercer. Um, so when I zapped that marble wand, it moved the, uh, whatever that monster was, but it didn't self-identify the wand. So I'm going to say Alt N or hashtag N. I'm going to name an object in my inventory. What do I want to call? Q is teleportation. Tele. Okay, carefully pick up my wands. And I'm going to carry, I like to carry, if I can't carry scrolls, or even when I do have scrolls of teleportation, I still like to carry my scroll, my uh, wand of teleportation in my open inventory. If I get in trouble, I zap it at myself or maybe at the monster that's hurting me. And um, that's good. <clears throat> okay, what can I drop? My hard shoes. Just O to S where, whoops. Where I'm going to wear S, and this will probably drop to 2. It did, because I have plus 0 hard shoes. So, didn't get lucky, didn't get a plus 1 or plus 5 or anything else on any of this armor. But I'm wearing decent armor now. AC2 is the most I can reasonably expect at this point in the game. You'll notice I have not prayed at this altar, and I haven't, well, for one, it's a lawful altar, it needs to be converted. Um... And I haven't been able to sacrifice monsters here, so I haven't been able to convert it. I'm, I'm going to put on my ring of slow digestion while I think of it, because I'm not satiated. And let's go explore that Gnomish Mines level 1. Whoops, went the wrong way. And with my uh, basic dagger, I'm okay. I want to get that to skilled quickly. And I'll, I'll explore one or two levels of the Gnomish Mines. And then, um, just thought of something else I need to do. One or two levels in the Gnomish Mines, and then I'm going to not go much deeper until I can get Magic Bane as my artifact weapon. All right. Um, uh, I think it's 50% of the Gnomish Mines levels are dark. I'm lucky this one is not dark, so I can see at a distance. There are lots of traps, um, including fire traps. Well, maybe not on this this top level. You can see some downstairs when I'm in the, excuse me when I'm in the gnomish mines. I always when I find the downstairs, I go down and go up. Now, if I were to fall through a pit or a trap door, and there are lots of them, um, I'd end up somewhere on this lower level too. But I would be able to see the upstairs and this little area here. This is a dark level but I see the things that are right next to me. So even if I ended up over here, over here, or over here, I would know I have to go this way to get to those stairs. All right. Um, move to the upstairs and to here. That's the move to command. All right. That pony is not peaceful. I want to kill him at a distance. I'm going to zap at him. And I hit him and kill him. Ponies are fast and they can do a lot of damage. All right. Here I have a blindfold. Awesome. Um, pick it up, adjust it to its inventory slot, blindfolds and um, other stuff, towels you can wrap around your eyes, go in E for me. Watch what happens when I put E. I'm now blind, 
what was this over here? A fungus? He disappeared because he doesn't have a brain. I see the gnome because he has a brain. And I see a rock piercer here because he has a brain. Uh, this is telepathy. I got telepathy by eating the floating eye. And now that I can become blind, I can see, I can use this tool to my advantage. All right. Remove E. And there's a candle. I will use that. Adjust U to L. Candles go in the light slot L because there's a uh, dark level below me. Uh, shriekers and violent funguses look very similar to me. You want to eat the shriekers because they can give you poison resistance. You don't want to eat a violent fungus. Violet fungus? Huh. Don't eat it. I think it makes you stunned, but I don't remember why. I just put it in my brain as something not to eat. Okay, I feel strong, so I've exercised my strength up to 11. Started out at 8, doing great. I have also exercised my wisdom. What just happened here is every about 800 to 1,000 turns, uh, you do an exercise check. Every time, every time during the game, I do something that exercises strength, dexterity, cons no, uh, yeah, constitution, or wisdom, it increments a calendar. Every time I do something that is bad for those, it, it decrements the calendar. And then every 600, 800 turns, it does a random check, throws some dice in the background, and um, if I've exercised these things a lot, I can upgrade them. If I've abused them a lot, they might get downgraded. But I feel strong, I feel wise, so I've increased my wisdom, and I feel tough, I've increased my constitution. Awesome. I have videos on attributes, basic attributes that explain that in more detail. All right, let's go here. Oh, I stepped on a teleport trap, but I am wearing my Cloak of Magic Resistance, so teleport traps don't hurt me. I just feel a rinsing sensation. I've explored this entire level. I, um, I'm now going to dig a direct path from the upstairs to the downstairs so I can be quick. Uh, I picked up a broad pick. I'm going to apply P. You now wield a broad pick. What direction do you want to dig? that way. Now I'm wielding my pick, not my daggers. So I need to be sure to remember to wield A. Now they all lined up nicely for me. Zap A that way. Okay, killed him. Yeah, that's the giant rats. <clears throat> Let's go down to dungeon or Gnomish Mines level 2. And I got some monsters here. We're going to attack them. I'm going to stay on the stairs. 55 dot. I hear rumbling in a the distance. There's a boulder, a rolling boulder trap, like Indiana Jones on this level. Okay. Uh, he's hitting hard. Zap A that way. I hit him. He's got a lot of armor class. He's got good armor because as I hit him, I've hit him like four times now and I hadn't killed him. And dwarves just don't have that much strength. All right, Zap A. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here at half health. I'm going to step off, and it's just to see what he left me, because he had good armor. And a monster might come in from this direction and stand on the upstairs and hit me, but uh, you only live once, right? Hard hat. I might pick those up, and I'll get his gems, FG. The reason I want to pick those up is I think he had a good ar um, armor item. Next time I go to my altar, I'm going to um, drop these in. If they're uncursed, I'm going to wear them. Now, okay, I, I'm wearing too much, or carrying too much. I'm burdened. You don't want to be burdened for long. I'm going to do two things now. I'm going, I've found two chests, so I need to get those chests uh, open, see what's inside them. I have bladed, I, had, I have some daggers now, so I can uh, force open the locks. I might break a dagger or two, but I have a stack, so I'm okay. So first thing I'm going to do is drop my extra stuff. Drop? No, I'm not. I'm going to go to the downstairs. Somebody's throwing something at me. All right, drop P. Now I'm no longer burdened. What did he throw at me? He threw a dagger. Let's kick the dagger at him. I kicked it, and I hit him. Now I have, whoops, I have... Five daggers, throw A that way, control A, two, three, four, but not five. And dwarves hit me so hard. Okay. It's time to eat. Take off my ring of, no, 
remove my ring of uh, one of my rings. Slow digestion, shift D. I knew the slot it went in. I just didn't know what it was. All right, pick up the dagger. Let's, well, first, I'm hurting. I'm going to go sit on the upstairs, 55 dot. All right, let's go get that chest. Zap A. I'm going to zap to hit the acid blob. I throw darts or something at him. You don't want to hit him with your melee weapon because he might corrode your weapon. Alt loot, it's locked. I've What's my weapon? So you wield a bladed weapon and alt force. One of my daggers broke. Fine. Alt force. I'll get more. I forced the lock. Once you force the lock, be sure to wear, wield your main weapon again. But my main, main weapon is already wielded. Let's take and then alt L to loot. What I want to get, let's get, whoops, alt L. Uh, let's get this. Alt loot out. Fuzzy pickle. Don't need the fuzzy pickle. Um, I'm going to pick up this big heavy box. Had a little trouble. I'm going to take it upstairs. Boom. I'm burdened. If I run into trouble with a monster, I would drop that thing quickly and fight the monster. Drop P. Now kill the hobgoblin. Makes me burdened. Drop P. I'm going to pick up everything here. No, actually, I want my stash. Pick up my box, M. I'm going to make a stash right here. Drop P. Boom. Pick up everything. And now what do I want to put in my stash? Loot in all. Oh, I just noticed I'm not wearing my amulet. Put M. Yep. Loot in all. Um, that's the, my only food still is four lichen corpses. I would be completely dead, starved to death, fainted, if I didn't have that ring of slow digestion. I'm going to put in all my scrolls. I'm not ready to identify them yet. My spell books, but not W. I increased my wisdom. I might be able to read that spell book now. I'm going to put in all my potions. I have two rings of free action. I really don't need either one. I'll put them both in. Oops. Okay. Escape. Loot in all. What else do I want to put in? I want to read that turquoise spell book. RW. It's still difficult to comprehend loot in all. Put in W. Where I can want to keep my ring of slow digestion. I've still got two ones I haven't identified. Put in my gems. And I've got two blindfolds now. That's D E D E. So you see what I'm doing here. I have a stash. It's right by an altar. I have a stack of junk here, and I have a broken large box. Eventually, I'd like to get a boulder and put it here right on this stack of junk and my large box. I put my good stuff in the large box, and I put my bad stuff just in the stack of junk, and I put a boulder on top. I hang around and kill the monsters as they come to me. Um, I probably should have put... Well, it's not too late. Pick up everything. I'm stressed. No worries. Drop P. I want my stash here instead, so I can put a boulder right here, and then I can hide behind the boulder. When monsters come in the door at me, they will step on the altar to hit me, because they can't step here, because there will be a boulder there, and I can just kill monsters on the altar all day long. All right, um, things to do. There's still, I think I had another large box someplace, and I want to identify my wands. So those are my current goals. Let's go down and find that other box. Oh, here's a way to identify a wand. Uh, maybe here, 55 dot. Okay, he's lined up. Zap. What do I want to zap? I have a brass wand and a lumen roll. Let's zap V. What direction? That way. Okay, I killed him. What was it? Uh, shift I, wands, so slash. That was a wand of magic missile. Um, <clears throat> I'm zapping my wand through or at a door at a monster that's a little distance from me. This isn't the perfect way to identify wands. Some people engrave on the ground with them to identify them. I do it this way. The biggest danger here is if it's a wand of polymorph, I could have turned that floating eye into a titan or some other bad monster. But if he's a few steps away, then there may be a chance if the monster I polymorph him into isn't magic resistant, I can just zap him again and hopefully zap him into something I can deal with. Um, so yes, there's risk, but What's life without a little risk? 
uh, 22 dot. Okay, he's in line. Zap. We got one more to identify. I'm going to zap Z, and nothing happened that I saw. This is probably a wand of secret door detection. It doesn't give you a message. So I'm going to, that was Z. I'll name, what do I name? Object Z. I'm going to call it secret door. And if there had been a secret door nearby, it would have found it for me. Okay, I'm looking for, I'm heading back down. I always check the junk. Zap A. Okay, heading down. Wasn't there another chest somewhere? Ah, fog cloud. Fog clouds are awesome. I'm going to hit Alt E. I'm basic a dagger. I want to be skilled at dagger. The benefit of a fog cloud is once you're engulfed in a fog cloud, whatever weapon you're wielding, or two weapons, if you're two weaponing, um, you don't miss. So it's a great place to train a weapon. So I still need to exercise my daggers more. I am wielding my daggers. I'll just go ahead and hit on him, see if he engulfs me. See, I'm not hitting him very much because it's hard to hit fog clouds from the outside. Oh, I killed him. All right. Um, but if I had gotten inside, then it's just a place to exercise. Uh, hang on. Um, I did not see another chest. You probably all saw it. Uh, the straw golem. They're kind of bad. Zap A. Zap A. Got him. There's the lock chest. Now, I have a stack of four daggers. Oh, I should have dropped my other daggers on the altar. Um, one of these daggers could be a regular old uncursed. But since it's not identified, it didn't stack with these, so I don't have five. One of them might be blessed or cursed. Uh, that was kind of a mistake. Um, but uh, alt force, yes. Boot out. Didn't break one. All. Let's get everything. Now I got another one to identify. Um, let's get some more daggers. I like to carry a stack of seven daggers in my quiver, and then have another good dagger, like a rune dagger or a silver dagger. Or maybe a blessed dagger in hopes that it's enchanted. Okay. Whew, I am hungry. Put D, right? That's my ring of slow digestion. And we'll eat a fuzzy pickle. All right. I want to eat something a little more substantial soon. There is a leprechaun. Should we kill that leprechaun? Hang on. What was there? A hard hat. Oh, yeah. These were my stuff. Huh. I dropped these because these might be good. And I'm still burdened. All right, it's time to identify them. I can kill a gnome even though I'm burdened. I can kill two gnomes even though I'm burdened. I got a potion. And got to be careful. If I run into something bad, I'm burdened and it'll hurt me. Drop X. First, the potion. Pick it up. I'll dip D into C. Q, it was interesting, so QC, it's juice. Or it's the invisible. I name them both juice. If I have two juices, then and I want to know which one is C invisible. Most invisible stuff have has brains, so I can just use my blindfold to see it. So I don't worry too much about juice or C invisible potions. All right, let's see if any one of these is good. I'm going to pick up that hard hat. It's V. Take off H, which is my hard hat. My AC went from two to four. Where V two? All right. Um, in the junk pile, we're going to uh, D, H, and I dropped it, and adjust V to H. They were the same. It didn't matter which one. Hard shoes. Take off shoes. I'm going to go back up to four. Take off shoes. Where? W. Huh, I was wrong. D, S, adjust W, S. I thought one of those would be better, but I guess maybe I'm just wimpy. Drop X. P, Z, drop my daggers. Okay, I got a blessed dagger. Awesome. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust A, and I want to put, I want to quiver my stack of daggers. Just A to Q, and then Shift Q, Q. Whoops. Yeah. Shift Q, Q. Ready four of them? No. Ready all of them? Yes. And now that blessed dagger, just Z to A, wheel A. I spent a lot of time adjusting my inventory to the right slots, but that allows me to play faster. Costs some time up front, but I don't need to remember where everything is or hit. Well, I do remember. I don't need to hit I a thousand times to see where stuff is. Drop X. 
uh, let's stash those scrolls, loot in scrolls. Uh, remind me, in a minute I'm going to come back up here and we're going to identify those scrolls. Uh, oh, maybe I'll just do it now, but I'll finish what I'm doing. Okay, stash the loot in gems, put my gems in. I need a junk piece of armor to identify scrolls. Um, I'm going to need to pick up that hooded cloak, DJ, it's not cursed, just J to R, J to R. Um, the trouble with identifying scrolls is they might be bad. Earth, scroll of earth will drop boulders around you. It'll hurt me a little bit, but it'll mess up my nice clean uh, room here. <coughs> um, uh, it could be a scroll of create monster and bring, if it's cursed, it'll bring lots of monsters around me. Uh, here's what I do. Um, I'm going to go loot out and get all these unidentified scrolls. Loot out scrolls. Let's get everything. I got a blessed scroll of identify. I could just read that and identify a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to get everything but FGH and J, the ones that are already identified. So I've got five unidentified scrolls. I think it's five. Drop scrolls. Drop them all. Now, one of them was cursed. Let's. Put, I don't want to deal with that one yet. Loot, loot MP. Put it in the chest. I've got four unidentified scrolls. I want to take them to a place that's out of the way, that if they're earth, I'm not going to mind a bunch of boulders. Actually, I'm going to put them here, drop scrolls, all but one of them. Start out one at a time to identify my scrolls. First thing I want to do is put on uh, junk armor, because I've identified, I started with these scrolls, but destroy armor could be bad. I could lose my cloak of magic resistance. Um, so I'm going to take off my robe wear my junk robe, and don't want to lose my shoes and my hat, even though I've got spares. Um, if this is a scroll of destroy armor, then I will lose my junk cloak, but it will protect my armor, so I won't lose my armor. All right, read. What do you want to read? This unidentified scroll. Ver, four by dern, whatever. I don't care. X. Ha, ha, ha. I just identified destroy armor. Now if I type backslash to see what I've identified, you can see that I've identified destroy armor. If I ever find another ve for Burdine, then it will say destroy armor, not ve for Burdine. All right. Now maybe the next worst scroll I might get is a scroll of fire, which could burn my, I think you can burn some lever armor. I'm going to take off my armor and I'm going to wear my metal shoes. Fire won't hurt those. Pick up A. Read E. Your hands begin to glow, glow red. This is a scroll of confused monster, and next monster I hit with melee attack will be confused. Unless I kill him. Anyway, this is confuse monster. Read F. And I teleported. That was a scroll of teleportation, so if I type backslash, here's the scroll called confused monster, since I named it myself but it self-identified the scroll of teleportation. Those are nice to carry around, but I have a wand of teleportation in my inventory, right? She'll have it? Yes. So if there are no, if there's still charges in it, which there probably are since I've only zapped it once, then that's a good thing to carry. All right, now I've got to remember I have no good armor on at the time. All right, one more scroll. Read L. That was a scroll of light. See? Scroll of light. All right. Let's get dressed again. Wear armor, wear robe, wear hat, and just verify it. I got it all. All right. Um, time to dig a, a direct path to the downstairs. I have my pick, my uh, broad pick. I pee that way. I just since you see, I go up and down a lot. I do that um, a lot. It's safe, and if I have a quick way to get from the upstairs to the downstairs, then I can move even faster. I want to, I still don't have poison resistance. Oh, wheel A, forgot that part. And don't have poison resistance, so I am vulnerable. I could fall into a pit with poison spikes and be insta-killed. So I'm living dangerously now. But you can't be completely safe. Throw what? Oh, I don't have to throw anymore. I can just, okay, I quivered my 
My five daggers are in my quiver. They're at the ready. I did that with a shift Q command. So now I can fire that way. Two, three, four. Uh, the F command. Uh, okay. I've already got, um, let's see, uh, what do you call it when you can see monsters with brains? I've got that intrinsic. And I could eat him, but I don't need to. Let's pick him up and take him to that altar and sacrifice him. Go to the underscore. Whoops. And I, it's a lawful altar. I am a neutral. That's my alignment. Um, I can't pray on this altar because I can only should only pray on neutral altars. So I need to offer monsters here and see if I can convert this altar. Alt O. What do you want to sacrifice? It shows me all the corpses. Those lichen corpses. You can sacrifice lichens, but I've been carrying those corpses for hundreds of turns. I'm going to sacrifice I. Since it's not an aligned altar, it's cross-aligned. It's okay. You sense a conflict between Thoth. I think my god is Thoth, uh, Pa, but it didn't convert. I was unlucky. All right, I was digging digging a path to the downstairs. Uh, real day. The trouble with digging is you're wielding the wrong weapon, and monster will sneak up behind you. Wait, what did I just say? Oh, it's Control P. I saw a message. More confident. Alt E. It doesn't take any time to do this. I want to get that corpse to the altar and sacrifice it before it goes old. But there are a lot of things you can do in NetHack that don't take turns, like looking and advancing your skill level. So I've hit with my dagger enough to go from basic to skill. I'm going to press A. Boom. And now if I do Alt E again, you can see that I'm skilled. I can advance one more level up to master. Now I have the dagger in my hand. I'm going to pick up the iguana and hurry to the altar. Offer, what is it? K, conflict, unlucky. K. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this guy out with melee. I'm gonna put on my blindfold. I'm gonna adjust J to E. And now I verify that I'm blind because I don't wanna Get frozen. Remove E and no corpse. Apply P. Kick. I could dig a hole. That's that's gold embedded in a wall. Now, um, if I were to read a or a quaff a potion of object detection, I might see gold embedded in walls all over the place, and gems. And I got frustrated when I first learned that trick because I dig to them and sometimes there'd be nothing there. That just means it's down in the floor at that location. So uh, you can dig down and get it. I'm just going to kick Control D that way, kick the 53 gold pieces, pick them up, and I'm still wielding my pickaxe. Wield A, my broad pick. Okay, I apply P. And I'm just going to go straight over now. Okay, wield A, hit the grid bug, control D, down, kick. We got a stack of gems here. Control A, there were three gems total there. Pick them up. I haven't identified gems yet because I don't have a touchstone yet. Apply P that way. Pick up some gold, more gold. Kill the grid bug with my broad pick. Okay, wield A. Excellent. Um, I'm going downstairs. What are my goals now? I got a wand I want to zap to identify it. I need to explore a gnomish mine level. And um, I would dig normally, but I'm, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm not going to dig at this point. Just know that in a real game I'd do that. It seems like there was something else I wanted to do. Let's um, zap... This could be a wand of locking. I do have an undefined wand. Yeah, a silver wand. Could be locking, could be death, could be wishing, a lot of things. I could wait right here, and that gnome would come to me and stand here or here, and I could zap at it. But if it's wand, a wand of fire or other ray weapon, it could hit this far wall, bounce back, and hit me. So I'm not going to take him on there. I'm going to come up here, where there's a lot of distance, and the wall is a long ways away. So... I'm going to sit here and throw darts at me. Okay, there's a cobalt. Don't eat cobalts, but I can use him to zap. Zap, what do I want to zap? Why? What direction? That way. It's a wand of digging. You see the asterisks and it dug through that wall there. Wands of digging are great. They're good for escaping. You can zap them down into the floor. 
when you're in trouble and fall through. But in NetHack 3.7, you're going to take damage when you hit the floor. So if you wait till you only have three or four hit points to do that, you zap a one down, one of digging down, you fall through, you hit the floor on the next level, and you die. So don't do that. Try brash and gnome, hard shoes. All right, goals are we want to explore another level down here. I have not found Mine Town yet. And I'm still thinking of lots of important things to tell you about, so I'm still uh, recording. Once I run out of important things to tell you about, I'll stop recording. 55 dot, 55 dot. Hey, I found a light source. I have a single candle. First, put E. I can see that most of my monsters, well, all my monsters are over here. Okay, remove E. You don't want to explore a level blindfold. It takes too long. My light source is in L. Candles aren't great. They don't last very long and they don't light up very much, but they're better than nothing. I-L. I-L. I didn't see this fog cloud because fog clouds don't have brains. And I like fog clouds because when I get inside of them, I don't miss and it's good to exercise. But I, I hit him. Didn't get a whole lot of exercise there. That's okay. Looks like this made, well, there may be no further dungeon. This may be the right boundary of the dungeon. Kill the iguana. I don't think I saw that iguana close to me, but because monsters continue to spawn on your level, um, so he may have just recently spawned. Telepathy is the intrinsic, or extrinsic, intrinsic, that you get. A whistle. When I find a whistle, I pick it up and apply it. Oh, if it's a high whistling sound, I may have just attracted monsters' attention, but I can handle that. Um, this is not a magic whistle. If it was a strange whistling sound, it would be a magic whistle. Magic whistles bring your pets wherever they are on your level. They bring them right to you. If you play with a pet, you really want a magic whistle. If you don't, I use magic whistles for poly fodder, for polymorphing stuff. So that magic whistle, that non-magic whistle is all. I'll name object O, not magic, D O. Now, if I find another one of those later on, it will say not magic, and I won't have to test it. And I know that I don't care. That's a squeaky board. Um, now the monsters are attracted. Oh well. Jack boots, awesome. So these are high boots. They will probably they give you plus two to your AC, and they're better than hard shoes because my iron boots impede my spell casting. I really like jack boots. I will wear those if they're not cursed. Oh, got to pick them up. And I will wear those until I find speed boots, which are usually the best boots to have, in my opinion. Okay, my candle's running out. That's like I say, they don't last very long. Okay, well, it's time to eat. I haven't eaten for a while. Okay, what's he got? There's a dagger and a gem. Turn on my candle. I turned it off to eat and examine the drop pile. Potion of levitation, why not? I wish I had a bag, because um, my potions, scrolls, and spell books are vulnerable to fire, and if I step on a fire trap, I could lose some of them. If they're in a bag, it protects them. What do we got here? A gnome corpse. Now, there's not just going to be a corpse lying around. This is one of two things. Well, I know what it is. There's going to be a trap here of some sort, maybe a pit trap that gnome fell in and died. On 3.7, at the early levels, you will sometimes find um, traps on like levels 1, 2, and 3, that, or maybe other levels that come with corpses on them. So if I ever find an unexpected corpse, then I, do, I stand right next to it and search to see if I can identify the trap. The other possibility, if you find corpses, is this is a bones pile. You or some other player came to this level before and died, killed some corpses before you died, and somebody that comes after might get that bones file and um, land uh, or find your corpses. But um, this is not a bones file. I know for several reasons. Uh, I'm going to do a 22 search. 22 search. Oh, turn off my candle. 22 search. This is a rolling boulder trap. Somewhere around here is a boulder. Um, I've got 41 hit points. It won't kill me, but there's still lots of monsters on this level. I want to find that boulder. Now, it's not down below. It must be off to the side. Oh, up at a diagonal. There's the boulder. If you push a boulder, even just one square, where there's a rolling boulder trap, then you go step on the trap. It won't hurt you. There's a water nymph. Um, I wish I could 
Let's see. She's not asleep. Nymphs start out asleep, but I think she's not. Well, I know she's not because she wasn't here when I came through searching for the boulder. Um, nymphs are bad. She'll steal my stuff. Um, so I would like to deal with her. What can I do? Let's look at my inventory. How do I deal with a nymph? And this is when you run into a situation that's not great. The first thing you do is you stop. You don't make a quick snap decision. That nymph is going to wait all day for me to examine my inventory. <clears throat> um, I've got, I could zap her with a wand of slow monster. Slow her down some, but since she's right next to me, she might still get a move. I could hit her with my magic missile. That is good. It might kill her. It's best to get her right next to a wall so the magic missile will reflect and hit her twice. I could zap a wand of digging and fall downstairs. Not a bad idea because I could come back up and um, push that boulder into the trap and it'd be like it never happened. I could hit her with her or me with a wand of teleportation. Those are options and those are my only options. Um, I think my plan for this nymph will be just to get her out of here and then deal with her where I have more space because she's right next to me already. All right. Zap. And I've already explored most of the level. You don't want to try and chase down a nymph on an unexplored level, but I've, I'm probably two-thirds ex explored. Zap. Oh, have I found the downstairs? I have not found the downstairs. Okay. The reason I ask is I might consider just falling through, going back upstairs, and staying on the stairs till she comes. But where I haven't found the downstairs... I won't know how to come back upstairs from dungeon level 6 to dungeon level 5. Um, zap. Q. What direction? That way. She's gone. Put on my blindfold. She's over with all those other monsters. And she's coming towards me. That's good. That's a peaceful little dog. Now, there may not be a clear path for her to come. Let's see if she can come. I think not, because not many of those other monsters have come. And where I haven't... I'm walking into the walls here to identify where the walls are. Okay, here's a path. Now she's close. She's throwing daggers at me. Or somebody is. Um, probably just zap. Zap A that way. Didn't hit him. Zap A that way. Didn't hit him. But didn't, weren't they throwing daggers at me? Or maybe I just can't tell that I'm hitting him. Oh, yeah, I've been zapping into a wall. So who threw the dagger? That was Mr. Dwarf. I thought it was the Gnome King. Okay. I don't want to take my blindfold off yet. This is slow, but you get the point. Okay. Now she's right next to me. Fine. I'm going to... Okay, she's right where I want her, because I can zap my magic missile at her. It'll hit her going, and it'll reflect and hit her coming again, and I can do that again. Zap. Oh, and it won't hit me, because I'm wearing a cloak of magic resistance. It won't hurt me. V, what direction? That way. The magic missile hits it. The magic missile bounced and hits it. Then it hits me, and the missiles bounce off. I wish I had a stethoscope so I could see how hurt she is, but I'm going to do the same thing. Zap. V, that way. Killed her. She didn't steal anything. Remove my blindfold. Fire that way. If I had the spell book of Magic Missile, I wouldn't have to use a wand. Let's pick up A. Okay. I still only have strength 11. I can't car carry very much stuff. Um, I am carrying four lichen corpses. I need to have a little bit of food. Drop food. I'm going to drop 3S. You want to use that when you're dropping and picking up. Prefix your command with a number to, pick, to do just that many items. E yes. Okay. The lichen corpses were a little bit heavy. Like I said, I usually only carry about seven, maybe eight daggers in my stack. And I'm carrying two stacks. They will probably combine. They'll merge when I drop. I'm carrying 11 daggers. That's too many. And this one is unidentified. Could be a good one. Could be a bad one. I'm going to... D, 3, U. So, drop some daggers. So, 
So now I'm only carrying three. I'll merge and marry, maybe carry eight daggers in my stack. Anything good here? Looking glass. Pick up the looking glass. Just why a G? G. The reason I carry a looking glass is I could have, instead of zapping that um, wand of teleportation at that water nymph, I could have applied my looking glass at her. She would have taken it and teleported. I accomplished the same thing without using a charge in my wand. Okay, a peaceful little dog. He's getting in my way. You don't want to kill too many peaceful monsters, but you want to kill some, maybe one in ten. Attacking a peaceful monster hurts your alignment record, and attacking too many of them means you won't be able to pray or offer successfully, well, pray successfully, uh, you know, sacrifice successfully. Um, so, but I don't want to leave this dog around. I'm going to do Shift F. That's the fight command. If I were to just move into him, he, I'd swap places with him or he, or not. But if I do Shift F or Shift F direction, I hit him. He growled. Now he's hitting me, and I've killed him. My alignment record just took a, a hit, but every time I kill a hostile monster, it's going to take a boost, so that's good. Here's another corpse I didn't expect, a gnome corpse, 22 search. Uh, don't know what he was doing there. Oh, the uh, got to remember, here's the rolling boulder trap. I pushed the boulder out of the way, and I didn't get back here in time to see what goods were on the trap. Traps will have goods because they might kill monsters, and... There will be stuff there, but that was already picked up by somebody else, or there was nothing there. All right, I got a white unicorn. I've only got 49 max hit points. I'm not quite ready to deal with a, a hostile unicorn. Now, you notice I don't see him. He's going to stay a distance away from me. I might be able to take him out with... Oh, actually, I can deal with him. I forgot. There's a way to deal with hostile unicorns in... NetHack 3.7 that I don't think you had in 3.6. If you can get them, if, the trouble with a unicorn is if, if you if you line up at a distance from them to hit them with beam weapons or throw stuff at them, they will just move and get out of the way. Um, and they would teleport um, if they couldn't move. But in 3.7 now, if you can get them in a long, skinny hallway and then get them lined up with them. They won't teleport away, and you can hit them with beam weapons, and I can throw my daggers at it. First thing I'm going to do, put on my blindfold. There he is. He's going to stay he'll stay a, a knight's move away from me or more. But what I'm going to do is step up here, and I'm going to hope that he's going to get in this long pathway. Not here, because he could move diagonally out, but if he's like here, he can't move diagonally, and he'll hold still. So let's see if he'll go there. Okay. He's there. But I don't want to move down, or he'll just move down here. I want to wait till he gets here. So dot, gotcha. Move down. He's going to stay lined up with me. Fire, fire, or again, again, again. I was able to kill him. Easy, because I was expert with daggers. This is NetHack 3.7, and he doesn't teleport away as easily when he can't move. Take off my... Blindfold and go. So I pick up the daggers. They auto pick up that I threw at him. Things that are here. That somebody was carrying a, a wand of teleportation. I've got a gnome corpse and a unicorn horn and a white unicorn corpse. Three of these four things are awesome. Uh, the unicorn horn is a must have. You want to get it as early as you can. It was even more useful in 3.6. Uh, because uh, it, if I get blind or confused or hallucinating, I can apply my unicorn horn. In earlier versions of NetHack, if you abused your stat, you could apply the NetHack or the uh, unicorn horn and bring them back. You can't do that now. Uh, I would have to get a potion of restorability. But I'm going to pick up the pick up some things, the wand called Telly, and the unicorn horn. Things I do now. I remember that I've my Z, uh, Z wand, I have not zapped at all. The other one I've zapped once. I'll probably forget that. Unicorn horn I always put into the U slot. So I'm going to alt adjust B to U. And I'm going to apply it a few times, but there's nothing going on there. Somebody's throwing stuff at me. The next awesome thing I want to do <clears throat> is I want to eat that white unicorn horn corpse. Unicorn corpses can give you, fairly regularly, poison resistance. I still don't have poison resistance. All right, who was throwing stuff at me? You were. 
and he's got a point of teleportation, so he just used it on himself. I want to kill him before he uses too many more charges. All right, but let's eat, not the gnome corpse. It's You're safe eating a corpse for like 20 or 30 turns, but not more than that. But even, huh, got a unicorn corpse. I've got a unicorn horn now. Even if this meat was tainted, um, applying unicorn horn can cure that tainted food um, fairly reliably. There's still a chance you'll die, but yes, eat the unicorn. And there we go. I ate the unicorn horn. White unicorn corpse, and I feel healthy. That message means I now have poison resistance. If somebody throws a poison dart at me, or I fall in a hole with poison spikes, uh, I'm not going to get killed or even weakened, and my constitution won't be damaged. All right. That gnome, he's the only one on the level. He's got a wand of teleportation. I want it. I carry as many wands of teleportation I can, as I can all the way through the game. That Roth um, is a little bit nasty. A, a bit of a tough monster. He's not moving, so I don't know why. He's probably in a trap. <laughs> the gnome is hitting me with arrows or whatever those were. Yeah, he's zapped it again. All right, let's not approach him yet. Uh, let's finish um, finish exploring. The Roth will get out of that pit and come get me. Shrieker, if I hadn't already gotten poison resistance for the unicorn, horse, unicorn the uh, Shrieker might have given it to me. Remove my ring of slow digestion. Oops. I'm still wearing my triangular amulet. I don't know what it was. Wish I had a light source. Best light source is a magic lamp at least until you can get a wish out of it. Roasts are great to eat. Found the downstairs. Immediately go down, go back up. Am I boring you yet? I don't want to go too long, but I think as long as I'm still thinking of things to say, then I'm going to keep talking. Apply P, digging through the wall, wheel A, go downstairs. Oh, somebody threw Rune Dagger at me. Oh, I love Rune Daggers. The best kind except for Silver and Magic Bane. And we have an elf. Elves are good um, for a couple of reasons. They carry elven armor, and I mean specifically elven boots and um, elven cloaks. Um, those are decent armor in and of themselves. Another benefit of elven armor is you... Uh, most armor can only be enchanted up to plus five. You can enchant elven armor to plus seven. And another great thing with Elven Armor is um, you it's great poly fodder. Put it in a, you get a wand of polymorph and polymorph it. There's a video on that, concise net hack video. Uh, my hit points are okay. Um, I'm de I, I, Elves are strong. He's stronger than I am at this point. Okay, zap A that way, zap A that way. But I got him. <coughs> Didn't leave me elven armor. But it looks like he picked up those three daggers. Whoops. Those three daggers. If you hit colon on a stack of items, it'll show you what's there. I dropped three daggers, and he's got three daggers. Suspicious. All right. Um, he's got a broad pick, and he's hitting me hard. He took me down half my hit points in one hit. So I'm going to step away from him. Zap A that way. Missed him, because he's got good armor. I'm moving away from him. Um, there's a chance that I am on, I'm in mine town. I don't think so, because you usually show up closer to a corner, but I'm not sure. And you don't want to go zapping spells in mine town. So I'm going to waste a turn now by putting on my blindfold. This is not mine town, because there are no guards. Zap A that way. Killed him. Remove E. Get the gem. He hit me hard with that broad pick. Now I'm hurt. What do you do when you're hurt? You go to the upstairs. 55 dot. Or even go upstairs. If I had more hurt, I would have gone upstairs. 55 dot. Things are fine again. Um, I wish this were Mine Town. There are at least three. You know, Mine Town can be on the third dungeon. Mm. All right, I'm carrying too much stuff. I need to go back to my stash. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video go to the stash, drop my stuff, 
and come back down and pick it up here. But I will unpause if I run into anything interesting. Maybe I shouldn't pause um, and unpause because a couple of interesting things happened. One was um, somebody was shooting arrows at me out of the dark and I zapped at him and killed him. And it was the gnome with the wand of teleportation. So I picked up his wand of teleportation. Another interesting thing that happened was, as I was going back to the upstairs on that lowest Gnomish Mines level, I found a figurine. Um, and figurines, I found a figurine of a giant zombie. Um, figurines are good. For one, they're polyfodder. If you want to polymorph them, you can. For another, you can turn them into a monster by applying them. I'm considering applying this figurine of a giant zombie. It'll create a giant zombie, which I then, with some luck, can kill. And um, you can eat zombie corpses. And giant corpses can boost your strength, and I need a strength boost. But that's risky. You can eat them, but they might be tainted or rotten. You know, zombie and mummy corpses might be tainted, and they might kill you. I do have a unicorn horn to cure that. And I might just do that for, for grins to show you what happens. But I got to do it. But the other interesting thing that happened is I came upstairs burdened. I don't have a sack. Uh, I avoid being burdened. I'm still burdened. If I have to be burdened because I picked up too much stuff and I don't want to drop anything, <clears throat> I love to put it in a sack or a, a bag. And then if I run into trouble, in one turn, I can drop that stuff that's making me burdened and I can deal with the, the trouble. Well, I ran into a little bit of trouble coming up. There was a mummy of some sort that was hitting me, and he was fast enough that when I was burdened, he hit me one extra time that I couldn't deal with, and he took me down to like six hit points, and it, he would have killed me with another hit. I was running away from him. I was right by the stairs, but I zapped him with a water teleportation and made it upstairs. So a little bit risky carrying this much stuff. Don't want to do it. Let's um, let's drop some stuff. Drop X. I'm going to drop my F, J, U, X. They're all good. Now, since I've identified, or Buck identified them, they will stack. And I'm carrying a stack of nine daggers. That's plenty. i got a rune bow, so let's drop some junk. Drop... I don't need, I don't know how I got a bow. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to drop my quarter staff. I'm done with it because now that I'm skilled with daggers, I don't need it. Broad picks are heavy. I wish I could drop it and get a pickaxe, but I'm going to carry it for now. All right, we'll drop those. Um, drop X, my jack boots. This will help. Jack boots are lighter than iron boots. So the boots are uncursed. I'm going to take off my shoes. D. Shoes, pick up, adjust, adjust T to S, wear S. I got the same armor class with jack boots, but they don't impact my skill spell casting. All right, what else can I drop? Oh, my! I killed the yellow mold corpse on the way over here. Offer M. I waited too long. D M D M. Drop X. A potion of levitation. Loot stash. I forgot what I'm stashing. W levitation. Um, it's not really needed, but I stashed some extra potions. You can dilute them by dipping them into water, like into a fountain. Then you have potions of water. Zap A that way. No, he's too far away. Can't hit him. Drop X. Um, I got some gems, but first, let's just identify all of these. I thought I'd used up my candle. Okay. Nothing cursed. Loot in what else can I stash in the box? Slow monster. Those are good in the early game, but not as much help later on. Uh, I'm going to stash my secret door detection. I'm carrying three ones teleportation. Let's stash one of those for later and all my gems. Okay, I am only experienced level seven. Do you think I can deal with a giant zombie? I don't know if I can deal with a giant zombie. Um, I'm going to stash that loot in my... I don't want to risk it right now. Let's be careful. If I were maybe experienced level 10, I would 
I'd do it. I could probably get away with it by applying the, the uh, figurine, turning it into a giant zombie, and then teleporting away and then hitting him from a distance because zombies are slow. But it'd be a bad if I died at this point, so I'm not going to do it. Fire that way because there's a gas spore. Okay, anything else I can do here? Am I done? Okay, this time I'm not going to pause the video because interesting things keep happening. There's my pickaxe. DP. Now, pickaxes, if you find them on monsters, will not be cursed. But pick, well, okay, if they were generated in one of those traps that you find in 3.7 with a corpse on it, then they could be. But there were no traps on this level. Just N to P. Go downstairs. <clears throat> There's that mummy that hurt me before. Now he should be no problem. Whoops. Now he's running away. Wish he'd done that before. I should have checked his drop, drop stack because he could have left me a some dollars. Sometimes they, they leave money. Uh, put on my ring of slow digestion. I will eat my lichen corpse and remember that I'm carrying absolutely no food at all and I need to get some food. Step back. Fire. I hear a blast, so I killed it. Somebody's throwing stuff at me. Eat it, yes. Sometimes when you eat corpses, you get confused. Five dot, no problem. Eat, okay. I'm going to eat a few corpses now. Where did that... Okay, put E. He's running away. Okay, I got a, a tame pony. I got to kill a few tame monsters. Zap a... I yeah, angered him, so now I've taken a line, an alignment boo, uh, bump. i got to get it back. I couldn't see that mummy, because mummies don't have brains when I was using telepathy. couldn't see him. All right. Decided that this was not the gnome town. Smoky potions are awesome. <clears throat> what you do is you bless them and you quaff them. No matter what they really are, you might get a wish. They're so awesome that I'm going to go upstairs and drop it because there might be a fire trap and I don't want to risk it. Now, it's dangerous, obviously, leaving it right by the stairs there, but as long as I pick it up, the very next time I come up, it's fairly safe. Pick up the gems. Now, I have a candle with a little bit of charge left. Might as well use it. And that was it. It's done. It died. An ape. Apes are bad because they're fast, they hit hard, and they may come in groups. I'm going to step back a little bit because there might be two or three of these guys or four. And now I'm going to zap A and see how many I hit and miss. I'm going to zap A at him. There, It hit something else. First of all, I killed the ape, which is good to kill an ape with one force bolt. But I'm getting to the point in the game where I really need Magic Missile. Okay, I don't know what else I hit. It was likely another eight. I'll try firing daggers. Fire that way. Fire that way. Now I got human zombies. I'm going to step back a little bit. Zombies are slow. Put E so I can't see them. It was not another ape. It was maybe another zombie. Because I won't see him with telepathy. Remove E. Fire that way. Uh, gold golem hurting me. I wish I had a stethoscope. I'm going to run away. Fire, 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 fire. How many daggers do I have left? I have two more in my quiver. Fire. <coughs> He's got to be hurting, but. I don't want to risk it. Pick up my smoky potion. Go to the upstairs because I'm hurt. Somebody's hitting me. I'm going to pick up that food ration because I have no food at all. I like to carry about food, two food rations with me. We go upstairs, drop the smoky potion, the awesome smoky potion, no matter what it is. 55 dot. Lizards are... They look like geckos, but they're stronger than geckos. Put E, and I want to definitely chase him down and kill him. 
There's Jim. We'll get that. The reason you want you always want to carry a lizard corpse. Just W. You can always carry it in the Z slot. The reason is is if you run into a cockatrice or a chickatrice, and if he stones you, all you got to do is eat a lizard corpse. Now I can deal with that gold golem. If I had a stethoscope, I could see how damaged he was, and I would note that while I was upstairs, he improved some in health, but I improve in health faster than he does. So I may be able to just take him out with melee. Melee. He's fleeing. Oh, great. And I don't have a light source. I got him. No, I hit him. Did I destroy him? Control-P, Control-P. I just hit, hit him. Okay, there I killed him. And he left me $186. Now I'm going back and picking up all these daggers, except somebody's throwing probably my own daggers at me. They're no longer identified. All right. My stack of daggers. I used to have nine. I'm down to six. So these are maybe mine. Eat the gnome. Crude arrows. Oh, mine are still identified because nobody picked them up. Anyway. Snakes are bad. He took me down quite a bit, so i got to be careful. Go to the upstairs. Okay. And I'm doing okay. Digging through walls here. Because I... I'm wasting time while I heal up. Digging through walls is a good way to heal up as long as nobody comes up behind you and you're wielding a pickaxe and didn't notice that they were coming. Oh, great. I got a raven. Um, he didn't blind me. I can deal with you. I'm going to put on my blindfold. Or if I had lenses, I could put those on and he can't blind me because I'm already blind. <coughs> okay, I am underpowered for this level. The monsters keep taking me down. I don't have good enough armor, and I don't have magic bane yet, because I haven't been able to um, sacrifice enough monsters on that level one to um, uh, convert the altar and get magic bane. I'm in trouble. Um, the thing to do at this point is to go up and get stronger, gain a few experience levels, um, get some better armor. I could take all the shoes and helmets I find to my altar to see if they're cursed. That just kind of takes time. I want to run back to my uh, stairs now, but I got a giant beetle there holding me off. So I'm going to have to kill the giant beetle at a distance. Giant beetles hit hard, but they're slow. And I I don't want these guys to come up, be these guys to come up behind me. Um, Trouble being blind is all right. Zap a that way. Zap a that way. I'm gonna stay blind. There we go. It's just fire. Oh, I used up all my daggers. Uh, Q Z fire, 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 fire. Control A. Hit him. There's the corpse. Remove E. Um, I'm i got to be cautious here. There's another giant beetle. He hits hard. I'm going upstairs. Go to the upstairs. 55 dot. Go to the downstairs. Down. Take on the beetle. Killed him. He left me a scroll of identify. Really need a bag to put it in to protect. I'll drop it upstairs. 55 dot. All right. Back to strength. Move to here. There's a boulder. There might be a rolling boulder trap, so I'd move it if I could. There's a decent chance that a dagger is sitting on a rolling boulder trap. Let's push the boulder one square. I could search for it. In fact, I probably should have searched for it, because searching exercises wisdom if you find stuff. So I should have searched for it instead of stepping on it. Trigger it. Okay, there's nothing but a dagger here. Bat, bat, fight the bat. Very long video, but you can quit any time. Found a pit with a wand in it. Wand of digging in a pit. Is that ironic? Um,
okay, what I want to do, my goal now is to explore this level and then go down and deal with the Gnomish Mines. Uh, this should probably, and then I will talk through probably the rest. The good thing is I found an altar already. The bad thing is I haven't converted it and gotten a, gotten magic bane, but I can talk through all that. But I'd want to get to the Gnomish Mines level and then I'll quit. The Gnome hurls a purple red potion. Vile crash in your heads breaks into shards. First of all, I'm at half health and he's throwing stuff at me. It's not a, it's an unidentified potion because I've already identified potion or uh, uh, I've already identified paralysis. That'd be my scariest potion at this point. It could be acid, which will take me down some. Uh, it could be a potion of confusion, which will leave me confused. Let's see what it is. You feel somewhat dizzy more. This is a potion of confusion. So I'm confused. I'm going to apply my unicorn horn. Well, first of all, I'm in a pit, right? Well, am I? No, okay. Apply you. It didn't unconfuse me. Apply my unicorn horn. Let's just hit him. All right, now I'm unconfused. Eight darts. It wasn't a pit. All right, there's a dart trap, a leash. <clears throat> Go downstairs. There's Gnomish or Mine Town. Finish exploring. Why? I can explore later. Let's go to Mine Town. Dwarf hurts a lot. Eat him. Um, dwarvish Mithril Coats. I think those are the best armor, body armor, other than dragon scale males. But I am a spellcaster. I can't use it. I could consider um, picking it up and wearing it and just not casting spells at all. Maybe if I had a great weapon or if I had gauntlets of power, I'd do that. 55 dot, a little bit hurt. I have a Mumak. Mumaks are slow, but they hit really hard. My health is a little bit damaged. So like I said, the slow. Yeah, slow. I'm going to step down. He may or may not hit me. He did not. There he's moving. You hit Mumax at a distance. They hit very hard. Fire, fire. I'm moving toward the stairs. I got a bugbear on my case with four daggers. He was in a spiked pit. Fire, fire. Wish I had a stethoscope. Fire. My power is all the way up. Zap A that way. Missed him. See, Force Bolt is good on lower level monsters. Mumik is a little bit higher. Force Bolt is not great. Zap A that way. A that way. Hit him at least. Okay, I feel more confident. If I do an Alt E, <clears throat> oh, one is I can exercise Dagger. I'm not going to do Quarter Staff. Attack spells. Um, I should, let's do, let's do that. I think I'll hit more often. Zap A that way. But still not 100%. Um, some spells can only, like, I need to exercise up my attack spells if I want to zap um, Finger of Death, which I do eventually. Fire that way. I'm wasting a turn here because he's standing right there. I can't hit him. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going up. Get my scroll of identify. Going up. Drop it on my smoky potion going down and 55 dot, 55 dot. Okay, 33 dot. <laughs> Giant beetles. I, they take me down so far. I'm wearing all of my armor. Go upstairs and I'm going to go around the circle. Wish I had speed boots because I could outrun these monsters quicker. Okay, I'm considering ending the video right now because, or pausing and coming back. Like I say, I'm underpowered.
Can I got two tough monsters. Eat the newt at full power. I feel a mild buzz. My power just increased from max 78 to max 79. That's why you eat newts. <clears throat> I may end the video by dying. But when you get to the point, I'm going to kick whatever this weapon, this weapon, wait, huh. I'm going to kick, I kicked an arrow and killed the Rolf. Let's eat him. But, you know, this happens when you play. You'll get to a point where you're in over your head. The monsters are too tough. The trouble I really have is I'm experienced level 8. I can do Mind Town at experience level 6, but experience level 8, I'm giving Moo Max and you know, other things, and I don't have a good weapon, and I don't have good armor. So this is the time when, if I weren't recording, I'd go back up to an earlier level. I'd go up back up to level one and just burn some time. And so, it, for those of you that are interested, I'm going to kill this gnomish wizard. I'm going to go up until I can sacrifice for magic bane. Um, but gnomish wizards are awesome. They're in 3.7. They and other wizards are like uh, newts, you can bump your max power. So he's cursing, which I think means his, he cast a spell and it failed. He picked up my pokey, smoky potion and my scroll of identify and brought him to me. Okay. Um, I'm pausing at this point to go to, I'm going to go up to my uh, altar and hang out there for a while and I'll unpause when something interesting happens. Okay, something interesting happened. I came upstairs. First, I dug from the downstairs, which are right there. I dug through to get a better path to my upstairs. I killed a couple of uh, spiders, but I stumbled into a spider web. Spider webs are a pain. You can get out of them by moving three or four turns at this point, but I'm going to untrap this spider web. What I'm going to do is instead of moving up or down, I'm going to move sideways three times, and usually three times is enough to get me out. Um, H, H, H. Oh, let's try H, H, H. You disentangle yourself. It took three. Alt, untrap. Alt, U, dot. I'm caught. H, 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 Alt, U, dot. H, 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 Alt, U, dot. H, 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 Alt, U, dot. I'm going to untrap. Dot means where I'm at. And eventually, you can remove the web. It's gone. Um, I'm going to show you one other thing. Um, I told you you can identify daggers by dropping them on an altar or seeing if a monster will pick them up. But daggers are special. They stack. And I do this enough, I want to explain it to you. I have Q in my possession, a dagger. I want to know if it's cursed or uncursed. I'm going to go stand on a level in a room is somewhere near the upper center left area. And there's a reason for that. Okay, this is a good spot. I'm going to go stand in this room here and figure out if my Q dagger is cursed or not. Obviously, I could drop it on my altar, but if you don't have an altar, here's what you do. <clears throat> you throw it against the wall and you pick it up. You do that 20 times, and statistically, if you can throw a dagger 25, 20 times and it never... Um, slips when you throw it. It's very likely not cursed. I have had it happen, but very likely not. First thing is um, shift Q. What do you want to quiver or ready? I'm going to shift my Q. There it is. Now I could say throw, throw what? Q, uh, but it's quivered, so I'm going to fire it. Fire K. I just threw it into the wall, and if I look, there's a dagger here. And I can pick it up. The reason I'm doing this is I can throw K and pick up, or fire up pick up, fire up, pick up very quickly. And the reason I'm standing in this area of the dungeon, whoops, I clicked. The reason I'm standing in this area of the dungeon is my messages show up here. I want to very quickly see if um, the dagger slips as you throw it appears there. And I'm going to do it fast. Okay. I'm going to do it right too. There, I got it. Fire up, comma, fire up, comma. Uh, so FK comma, FK comma. I'm going to do that fast. One, two, three, four. And here's the reason why I stand in the upper center left of the right under. You want to stand right underneath your, where your messages are happening. If you go fast, you have to watch your messages 
rather than watch yourself. If you're watching yourself, you'll miss the message. If you're watching your message, you'll miss a bat coming in the room or some other monster and hitting you while you're busy doing something else. So I, I'm i standing where I can see myself and my messages um, at about the same time. I let the bat hit me once or twice before I, you know, because I was moving so fast, but I still want to show you that. Zap, whoops, zap A that way. Okay. Fire, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see how fast you can do it. And you got to do it in order. But did it slip? I'm going to hit Control P to go back. Um, I don't see a message about it slipping. I just didn't pick it up. But you can see, you can fire it against the wall 20 times, pick it up. And if you can do that, fire K, comma, to pick up, then, uh, then I feel comfortable wielding that weapon. Okay, um, now I'm going to hang out, and I've got my ring of slow digestion. I've got a little bit of food. I can stay here a long time killing low-level uh, monsters and eating some and sacrificing some. The strength or the, the less experience levels of the monsters you get on a level are a function of your experience level, which is 8, and the dungeon level you're on. Dungeon level... One gives wimpy monsters, but I'm experienced level eight, so I'm going to get some stronger monsters than I would have before. I'm going to hang out, paused, and pick it up. All right, I have hit 555 five, five dot a bunch of times, and I've killed a few wimpy monsters. Um, I hear a chugging sound, which means somebody quaffed a potion. I hear a clank, which means there's a were creature that was wearing armor and just turned from like a were jack or, uh, you know, into a jackal form, and he couldn't wear his armor, so it dropped and it clanked. <clears throat> I've got a gray pudding coming at me, so there are a few things going on in this this level. Put, whoops, I'm going to put my blindfold, put E, and I don't see the wear creature. It's possible that I have a chameleon, or maybe there is another reason for the clank, but maybe one of these critters is a chameleon, and... Um, was a were creature and now is a hill orc. Um, I'm going to do a bunch more 55 dots. This pony is probably peaceful. I can tell. You want to know how I can tell? I'm going to do a far look with a escape semicolon. And now I just move my cursor over and it's peaceful pony. And the hill orc may be trapped in this room. I should have dug uh, through the wall right there. Okay, remove E. I'll show you what I do when I have an altar. I stayed on the altar. The critter, whatever he is there, um, came toward me, and I stepped away. So he's on the altar because, basically, I put him there. That's the only place he could get to me. Uh, let's see if I can. It's an iguana. He left a corpse and a curved sword. Alt-O, offer, sacrifice it yet. I still haven't converted it. I've sacrificed a few things. Okay, I just converted this altar. It's now a neutral altar, and I can pray on it. I know that my prayer timeout has expired because I haven't prayed for like 7,000 turns. Um, I'm going to pray, but before I pray, I always see if I can drop a water on the altar, if I have any. I'm going to kick. I could pick up the sword and drop it. Kick it into my junk pile. Don't kick the altar, but you can kick stuff off an altar. Alt loot out potions. Do I have any water? I already have a holy water, which is awesome. I always want holy water. If I had potions of confusion or hallucination or blindness, you can dip my unicorn horn into them to turn them into water. But I've got none of those. Um, oh, I do have my potion of smoky potion. Is it, perchance, a blessed one? Okay, not going to do anything with it. Stash, oh, let's pray. Pray, yes. Shimmering light. Finish my prayer. Thoth is well pleased. I didn't get any, uh, no blessings. Um, I'm going to stay in this mode, killing monsters, sacrificing them, you know, and offering their corpses. And when I feel hopeful, it means my prayer time hasn't expired. If I don't feel hopeful, or I see um, four-leaf clover, it means my luck has been boosted boosted, but it means my prayer timeout has expired. So don't pray if you're hopeful with a sacrifice, a hopeful feeling. But if you don't get the hopeful feeling when you sacrifice, then you can pray, and I will eventually get magic bane. Um, I'm going to show 
zap A that way, zap A that way. I do have my, oh, got to be sure to wear your, your ring. I wanted to eat that uh, pudding because it could have given me a boost. Um, pausing again. All right, nothing super exciting has happened, but I've been sacrificing monsters. Um, I finally, this whole game, I had only found a single food ration. I finally found some hill orcs, and they were carrying three food rations. Um, like I said, I would have been dead a long time ago without the ring of slow digestion. <clears throat> I just prayed, and I got the plume of, uh, plume of smoke. It didn't say you have a hopeful feeling. No, I just sacrificed, and it said I... There was no message about hopeful feeling. Alt P, you want to pray? Yes. You finish your prayer. I, he's still well pleased. Zap A. I killed a bat. There's another bat. Killed a bat. Um, zombie. Um, I am picking up scrolls. D. Whoops. D V. Drop them. An uncursed scroll of remove curses. Awesome. Loot stash V. Um, I have a potion I found, so I'm going to alt dip my error or whatever. I'll dip D into G, Q, G. I found a potion of hallucination. <clears throat> now that I know what it is, all the rest of them I find, I will clear to water by dipping the unicorn horn into them. When you hallucinate, it's bad, um, but I have my unicorn horn, so I applied it. Um, I am going to continue as long as I can on this level until finally, I won't wait, uh, I won't unpause for praying, but I will eventually get a gift from praying, and at that point, I will unpause again. All right, it only took me three or four more sacrifices, but I sacrifice until I no longer see the hopeful feeling, then I pray. Um, actually, this wasn't a prayer. This was just a sacrifice, um, so I didn't even have to pray. An athame named Magic Mane appears at your feet. More. <clears throat> Use my gift wisely. I pick it up, just W to A, DA, so I see that it's uncursed, where A, no, huh, wield A, K. Now I'm halfway out of my troubled spot. I still need some more better armor. So what I'm going to do at this point is explore these main dungeon levels down to about the uh, Sokoban level. Uh, I'm going to pause for a minute, but I will watch you let, I will, well, First, um, wait, what did I just see? Oh, yeah, the Magic Bane. The Magic Bane is great because it can stun monsters, it can scare them, and do a bunch of other things. Um, zap A because the, you don't want to hit the green mold with your weapon, even though Magic Bane is foo proof. Uh, what I mean by foo proof is it's rust proof, rust proof, corrode proof, fire proof, all these other proofs. Um, that's proof or fixed. Um, now I'm not going down the I'm going down the main dungeon level. I have enough gold at $560 to buy some of those things. Let's go to the shop and buy a couple more wands. I've already verified that they weren't awesome wands. <clears throat> I eat gray ooze corpses because they can give you intrinsics. Eat the newt. I got a mild buzz and just raised my power to 80. <clears throat> An elf. He's throw a potion of confusion at me. The trouble with being confused is I don't cast my spells very well. But fortunately, I have a unicorn horn. And I got unconfused in one turn anyway. I'm zapping a there. I hit it. I hit it. It resists. So there are more than one critter there. Probably more elven corpses. Zap a. I killed one. Elven mithril coat. Let's sell it, shall we? You want some money? Pick up D. Okay, it makes me burdened. Zap A. Oh, he may have stolen the wand out of the shop for me. Or maybe he had it already. You can't go into a shop carrying a pickaxe. Please leave your pickaxe outside. Here's what I do. Step back one step. Throw. What do you want to throw? Asterisk. So it shows you everything. Space. P is my pickaxe. Down. So greater than sign. Pickaxe six to the ground. The reason I do that is because when I leave this shop, I have to step on the pickaxe, and I've got auto pick up thrown items um, turned on, so I will automatically pick up even if I forget it. I could put it in a bag if I have a bag. Okay, the first thing I want to do is drop that 
elven mithril coat. That's that's uh, good for selling. I mean, 120 bucks. You can't argue with that, right? Okay, what do I want to buy? I have only got $600, so I can't buy everything. There's 300 of it and 300 more of it. That's everything. I want to get these other things, but eventually, uh, wands are probably better for me now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I bought them all. I need him to step out of the way, step on my pickaxe. I pick it up. Now I've got two unidentified wands. Uh, we'll see where I can use them, but I'm going to go downstairs to explore. I don't know. Is exploring interesting? Um, this is a snake. He bit me. He was poisoned. Didn't affect me. I'm going to kill him. I want to identify my wands, but I'm not going to zap him in an empty hallway because they could hit the wall and bounce right back at me. Two food rations. Got all the food I want now. <coughs> I'm going to use the G command. G up takes me till the next fork in the rope. If I hit shift up, I would have gone all the way. All right. Still looking for a play. Oh, magic. I stepped on a magic trap, followed by a pit trap. Still looking for a place. Search. Okay. I've got a werewolf on this level. Put E. He's below me there. He might be able to get to me from here, but I haven't explored it. Okay, he's on my case. I am heading back toward my stairs, but I'm not going to make it. The trouble with a werewolf is he can bite me and turn me into a werewolf. He can summon wolves and um, ice wolves. Oh, I'm in a pit. I really need magic missile. I'm still able to kill him. Some of the werewolves are wimpy for movie, but... Uh, you see, when I see a were creature, I head toward the stairs. Okay, exploring more. What do I want? I want to find another altar because I don't want to go clear back up to level one always when I need an altar. This is an hack 3.7, so you have some interesting shaped rooms like this one. Carry the potion of paralysis. I still have no bag, which is one of the reasons that I really want to get to Mine Town because there will be a, there will be shops there, and I might be able to buy a bag. Zap A, zap A. Okay, oh, he's hurting me. I keep missing it. Finally killed him. You want to eat elves because you might get sleep resistant. Um, okay, I'm hurt. And he's got a flail. Maybe I can get him to fall in this pit. Okay, I have ants. <clears throat> I mean, killer bees. They're not as bad as ants. I have poison resistance, and I've got magic cancellation two, I th or one or two with my armor that I'm wearing. Watch my video on attributes. Um, this may be the end. I'm going to waste a turn now and put E so I know what I'm dealing with. Put on my blindfold, and uh, I'd love to make it to the stairs. I'm going to move backwards because I may be able to get down here and get to the stairs without too much damage. When they're right next to me, I'm going to hit them. When two or more line up, zap A that way. Okay, moving my way hopefully towards the stairs. Okay, kill him. Control D. I mean, I've still got 21 hit points. It's not over. I'm able to kill these guys with Magic Bane, but my, my AC is low. I could pray. I, th I don't know. Actually, I'm not going to fight. They're faster than I am. Made it to the stairs. So I'm going to go heal. And I've got beetles. All right. Um, I'm going to pause until something interesting happens. All right. Well, another trick here. Um, I've got a leprechaun appeared right next to me when I wasn't ready for him. I think I got a pickaxe wielded. So I can't hit him. I could zap. He's going to steal my gold. I've got 62 gold. But I'm just going to do a, a throw command. Throw. Throw what? I'm going to throw my dollars. Where am I going to throw them? I'm going to throw them to the left. The leprechaun sees that I have no gold, and he won't bother me. Now I can go kill him, and then I just have to remember to go pick up my gold. So I'll do that. Pausing. All right, something interesting happened. Um, there were three soldier ants on this level, and I was hurt. So I went upstairs to heal, came back down. I'm standing on the stairs. I killed two of them. Here's the third one. Um, 
But the thing that was interesting, now they hit me hard, but I know that. The thing that's interesting is I just died. There was a horn there. I was going to pick up the horn and apply it. Horns can be just regular old tooled horns. They can be um, uh, horns of plenty, which are awesome because you can get good food out of them, like royal jelly, which increases your strength. Um, uh, they can also be fire horns or frost horns. Okay. So I am not careful enough. I knew I was playing in past my level a little bit, but didn't want to waste too much more time. I've been playing for quite a while now, and I've probably bored you. Um, I'll go ahead and upload this video. You probably, hopefully, have learned some things by watching it. I appreciate you watching and encourage you to watch other concise net hack videos. Thank you.